Welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. The 68th annual Papillion Days begins June 17th. We'll hear from the Community Foundation's Executive Director. Sump Memorial and Anderson Grove Elementary have put together a successful program that brings authors to the school to meet the students. And our police teach D.A.R.E. at St. Columbia Hill School. A longtime teacher there talks about D.A.R.E.'s impact on his students, as well as the cooperative effort with the city's police. Several new businesses have chosen Papillion as their home. We'll bring you to the ribbon cuttings. City Happenings for the week of June 18th is next. Thanks, Mayor Black. It's time for the 68th annual Papillion Days. The Community Foundation Executive Director says they're focusing on maintaining what is already working. This year we've really focused on keeping the core elements the same and improving those. We got a lot of positive feedback about bingo last year, so we've continued with bingo this year. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a bigger vendor fair than ever, the carnival, the parade. Um, we have great set of volunteers of the year this year to honor the mayor's luncheon so really just going to be focusing on keeping that small town feeling and you know welcoming people back home to the pavilion. One thing you can count on is the fireworks display. One of the biggest and most fun events that we have as part of Papillion Days. We couldn't do it without Bellino Fireworks. They donate all the fireworks for us and Night Vision shoots the fireworks for us as a donation as well so it's it's really a community event because they're giving back to us and I mean, everyone is so excited about it, from little kids all the way to, you know, to our seniors, so it's, it's really special. This year's theme is Paradise in Papillion. When we talked about, you know, when we tried to pick a theme, we, we get together with my board and, and pick the theme, and all of those factors come into play, and we talk about things we love about Papillion, and, you know, kind of things that we want to play up, and what we think will make it the most fun, so that's how we, that's how we choose it. There's lots of optimism this year. I'm hoping that it will actually be bigger this year. For the first year in quite a while, we're not conflicting with the opening game of the College World Series and the opening ceremonies. So um, I think we're really hoping to have good crowds, good crowds at our carnival, good crowds in the vendor fair, good crowds in our beer garden. We've got lots of fun things planned, great, you know, great music, lots of live entertainment in the park. Um, we brought the helicopters back again this year, lots of new vendors. So I'm really thinking that in terms of crowd attendance, this should be one of our best years, and we always have wonderful volunteers. Lots of different organizations in town come together and help. The Lions Club, Jeans Auto comes and you know they do the tractor pull for Make a Wish. We've got the barbecue contest with the Barbecue Society. So, you know, it's really lots of different members of our community that make it so special. Sump Library and Anderson Grove Elementary team up for a Meet the Authors Day for sixth graders. We had Sheila Welch, an um, author from um, Chicago, and we brought her in and she Skyped in every week and we've made it more interactive with the kids with Bruce bringing an illustrator in, which is a different component than we've had in the past. And we saw lots of parent participation today at the luncheon and staying for the authors to listen to them and to visit, so we're really pleased. McMahon says this program is important. Oh, this is huge for us. This um, is cyclical for us. Um, we come out to the schools or we can't. We go to places that the library can't get to, so we bring the library to them. Mm -hmm. And so we do lots of partnerships with the school district and lots of partnerships with the businesses in the city of Papillion so we can let them know that the library is there and that we're a part of the community. The library has bigger plans for this program. We would like to present this at a state conference and a uh, national conference, if that would be something that we could write up as a grant um, for travel expenses. But we also see that we would like to take this to other schools and other places and have people that have a talent or have like, like an author to come in and chat with the kids and, and share authentic learning. This is huge for the kids to actually meet and see and listen to uh, an author. St. Columkill School is part of D.A.R.E. Sixth grade teacher Andy Smith says it's a great program. It, it just tunes the kids into what's going on around them. Mm -hmm. um, they talk a lot about advertising and how advertisers put cigarettes next to candy in the, in the convenience stores and just things like that. The kids maybe are aware of but they don't think about. So it, it gives them kind of time to reflect and understand what's happening around them. Um, just the ability to understand how to react in a situation where they might be presented with um, somebody trying to push drugs on them or get them to smoke or something like that. Um, I remember back when I was growing up we had nothing like this and you just had to go on your own wits and 
you know, lots of influences out there, I know, for the young kids these days. So it gives them that basis that they can work on, they can, they can move forward with. Technology has become a major part of the D.A.R.E. curriculum. It's something that's got to be approached because kids, you know, the kids grew up in that medium now. And before we didn't have to worry about that. But, um, you know, the, it's out there, you know. And I think we as teachers don't see the extent of it. You know, a lot of it's, you know, done after school at home, but it affects kids in the classroom because they have to socialize with each other. So it affects their socialization. So um, something we've got to address. And, you know, we do it through the DARE program and also sometimes we have seminars and things like that or people come in and talk to us about cyberbullying um, and the problems that happen out there. You know, and it's, it's like an ever-changing type of thing too. Students have got to be aware they're going to be approached in different ways. And um, unfortunately, there's a lot of negatives out there with it. So kids have to grow up a lot sooner <laughs> than they would otherwise. And the DARE program helps support that. They, they talk a lot about, Officer Foster talks a lot about cyberbullying, what happens, how people can be affected. Smith likes the way DARE officer Tony Foster relates to the students and gets them to learn. He starts off, you know, each new class, but he starts off back in the fall. He comes to our outdoor ed program. So he's interacting with the kids then, they get to know his face, um, his kind of demeanor. Um, and then once he starts the actual class, he, you know, right away he says, I don't do drugs, I'm, this is me. And lets kids know where he's coming from. So he, he, and he gains the respect right away. And that's what's kind of neat about it. Um, also, he, he, he's able to develop that rapport with the kids um, right away. He just, he knows how to respond to them. He knows how to say things that, you know, make them laugh, <laughs> make them feel relaxed. And he just creates this, a great environment for the kids. There are many new businesses in town. They all had ribbon cuttings. We just love small business and ribbon cuttings, but I think what's even better is when it's a business expansion. So it's second location. Yes. So congratulations on that. Thank That's you so always much. a nice milestone. And uh, we've got a young demographic here, a lot of families, and that's what you guys are all about. So and a uh, healthy community, a wellness community, so a great fit. We just want to welcome you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Mayor Black couldn't be here today. Okay. Um, he scheduled conflict, sure. and I'll tell you right now, he's so disappointed he can't be here. And I guarantee he'll come over here later today and yeah. say hello. There are two things I hear him talk about more than anything else, and I think it's true generally: the importance of our downtown and how excited we are to have people opening small business in downtown, and the importance of entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. the importance of small business. It's really the heartbeat of our economy. The downtown is really the heartbeat of our community. Mm -hmm. And so, what I see with the Venus Breeze is this incredible fit. Thank into you. what our downtown offers. You know, this great community of boutiques and small businesses that I think is really becoming an important part of our community. Uh, I love the location right across the park. Right, I think perfect. you're gonna get a lot of a lot of young moms coming over and looking at what you have to offer with yeah. a great store, with a great improvement to this building. Um, so welcome on behalf of Mayor Black and the entire city council, Thank welcome you. to the building. Oh, this is so great. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think we just look at this and there's just a lot of great stories here when we were just talking inside two years ago I think this was 15 acres of vacant ground and look around now with the great development that's been going on and everything that's been going up and a lot of ribbon cuttings here uh, but then spin itself you guys came out of Kansas City uh, if I understand it right I think you went to Hollywood and then or somewhere in California SoCal yeah so from Kansas City to Southern California to Papillion um, <laughs> and that's that's a nice tie but you're actually, there's two or three businesses that has a look to expand and enter Nebraska. They've entered through Papillion. Uh, so again, I think that's part of the story. We're on that national radar. This is a great place to start businesses and support. Hopefully you're seeing that. Great development. I uh, want to thank the developers for that as well. And uh, But you guys aren't just Kansas City. You've got local ties. Uh, and you've had other operations here. So you are a small hometown business. 
want to thank you and uh, welcome you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. The post office gets confused because your address doesn't say you say you don't look like Mike Kinde. But you are Papillion. <laughs> don't believe the post office. <laughs> they actually are in Papillion. Uh, you guys do fit a great need. I always thought my house was a doggy daycare, but my wife and kids brought them home. I knew this was here. I could bring them all over. Good to know you're going to have a train or two, because I think I got one that needs a train. But, um, you know, the way the community's grown, we just got so many needs, and you're right. I don't think you've got competition down here. Uh, so glad to have you. Welcome. Thank you. One, two, three. We invite everyone to take part in Papillion Days. You heard earlier how this event keeps growing, and that there is something for everyone. Please come and enjoy our 68th annual celebration. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. And information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the mayor's hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.